Well, for two days now, we've been talking to you about these dangerous wildfires burning all across North Carolina. Dry conditions are mostly to blame. So much rain would we need to lessen that risk. Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy is here to raise our weather IQ this morning. And that's what we've been talking about. We need the rain. Yeah, but we almost need to kind of do it in the Goldilocks fashion. We need it just right. We don't need too much all at once, but then we also just can't continue in this really trajectory because it could just lead to more and more wildfires, especially this time of year, because March and April are the windiest months and wind with dry conditions. That's the perfect recipe for an outbreak of a fire as we're seeing in the Western Carolinas. So the U.S. Drought Monitor comes out with a new map. And we're going to have one, a new one of these in about two, three hours. So this will be up to but we haven't had a lot of rain, so I think it's going to actually trend towards a worse direction. We're right now 99.4% of South Carolina is technically either dry or technically under a drought. Meanwhile, there's actually just over 1% dealing with a severe drought here in North Carolina. So what does that really mean? So these numbers I have here on the screen is how much rain that we need, and that's also factoring in the averages that we have each and every month to cure this drought, to remove this fire danger. This lower number right here, around nine inches that's here in the Charlotte area the one that's close to 11 inches that's what you need over in the mountains to do this over a three month period which I think is a little bit more realistic because if you get this amount of rain in one month that's going to be record status but for the Western Carolinas to be able to cure this in a three month fashion they need close to 19 inches of rain so that's a lot just letting you know so we're pretty much doubling the amount of rain that we would technically have so this is not a good situation also it's this time okay. of year that we're dealing okay. with the uh, most growth mm -hmm. because during the winter time things are dead things are right, really thriving, right. sure. so it doesn't really absorb as much water so right now if we don't get some rain soon this is the worst time of year to really have a drought and there okay, you've been but, saying slow and steady a slow steady rain. that's what we need we could have like one or two days unfortunately the rain we're probably going to get on monday may come with some severe storms but mm. but it, it will help certainly